I have two special guests today. One of them is Arthur, who's come to help me to introduce a very special edition of the Corona Diaries today. Because you kids have had to put up with your parents being home so much, and you know how tiresome parents can get. Arthur's been a little bit sick of us being home so much too, I think. So this one is specially for you, kids. Well, okay, parents can watch too if they really, really want to. I have another very special guest all the way from America reading a story from a beautiful book called Everything Tells Us About God by Catherine Bolger Hyde. I hope you enjoy it as much as I did. Here I go. So this lovely little book is called Everything Tells Us About God and it's by Catherine Bolger Hyde. And the illustrations are by Livia Kolji. And this is a story about everything in the world around us and how it tells us about God. And one of the things I love about this book is that when you open it up, there's a missing puzzle piece on the front page. There's all those puzzle pieces all locked together, but one of them is missing. So bear that in mind. One of the pieces is missing. So here we go. So this book says, the world is like a giant puzzle. God made to tell us about himself, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Every piece whispers one of his secrets. All we need to do is listen. Here's a little puzzle piece with the Holy Spirit on it. Look at the bunnies. There's a mommy and a baby and the birds. And this says, the Son tells us nothing can live without God. Not the plants, not the animals, not even you and me. God makes everything grow. His warmth fills our hearts and his love shines on us every day. There it is, shining on animals and people and on the earth. Yeah, look at the little girl in this wing. The wind in our hair tells us Holy Spirit is moving over the earth like an enormous dove beating its wings. The Spirit is everywhere, filling all things. He is God's breath and our breath of life. Oh, that looks like a baptism font to me. And there are people playing in the water outside. The water we drink tells us Christ is our life, the water that quenches our thirst forever. The water we washed in says our sins are forgiven washed away in the baptismal font. We can laugh and splash and play in the water, surrounded by God's grace and love. That's a nice little prosphora there. The bread we eat reminds us of the Eucharist, the body of Christ broken for us. Jesus is the bread that came down from heaven, the bread that feeds us and gives us life. All our food reminds us that God provides for every single one of our needs, every single day. He will never forget to take care of us. Ooh, squeaky page. Rocks tell us that Christ is as strong as a boulder, as firm as a mountain, more unmoving than the earth beneath our feet. Nothing and no one can ever defeat him or make him stop loving us. Never stops loving us. Oh, I love this one. The ocean reminds us that God is great and powerful. Look at those big waves. Although he loves and cares for us, we must obey him and can never control him. Just as sailors on the sea obey the sea's laws, so they can travel safely from one shore to the next. Oops. A 
missed a page. There we go. There's a little flower growing here. The seeds we plant speak of how Christ's body was planted in the earth at his burial. New plants spring up just as he sprang up, bringing new life and hope to all mankind. Trees that blossom and give us fruit tell us God wants us to show the fruits of the Holy Spirit in our lives. Love, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, self-control. Small things like flowers with their beautiful colors and delicate petals tell us that God cares about every detail of his creation. Even the tiniest bug, this little baby bug right there, is not too small for God to be concerned about. He made each thing with a purpose and they all work together. I love this. I would love to have this on the ceiling of my bedroom that I could lay in my bed and look up and see those beautiful stars and planets every night. Look at that. And there is the earth. The stars in the night sky tell us God is in control of the biggest things. All the suns, all the planets, the whole expanse of the universe, nothing can be bigger than God. I love the lion in this picture. Look at him. And there's a lamb, a lion and a lamb, just like it says in, I think, Isaiah. Animals, each with its separate nature, tell us what God is like. The whale and the elephant say God is mighty. The mother hen tells us he cares for us. The bee says he is always busy making the flowers grow for our pleasure, making sweet things like honey for us to eat. The lion is Christ as the Lord of creation. The lamb is Christ's sacrifice to save us from our sins. The dove is the Holy Spirit, giving peace to our souls. The roads we walk on say Christ is the way, the only way to life with the Father. If we stay on his way, we will live in peace and joy on earth and go on living with him forever in heaven. Here's the long road for them to travel all the way out to the horizon. from people running a race. Playgrounds and stadiums tell us Christ is the winner in every game, every contest, every battle. He is the victor over our one great enemy, death. Schools and preschools tell us Christ is our teacher. He knows everything and everything we need to know we can find in him. And he himself is the perfect student of God the Father. He always does his Father's will. Bet everybody knows who that baby is. The people we meet, mothers and fathers, sisters and brothers, priests and teachers, neighbors and friends, tell us Jesus became human just like us. He was born as a tiny baby, and he grew up just as we do. He had eyes and ears and hands and feet. He got hungry and thirsty and lonely and cold. And because his human body died and rose from the dead, our human bodies will one day rise as well, and we will be with him in heaven. Do you see God's puzzle coming together? But we need one more piece to complete it. You. Remember that missing piece at the beginning? It's you. You are the missing piece. You have hands to serve God, a heart to love him, lips to praise him. You have feet to walk in the way of Christ. You have arms to hold the people you love. You have a face that shines with the light of Christ to everyone you meet. God is talking to the world around you and through you. And that's the end. And there you see the puzzle all complete. No missing pieces. Because if we have you, we have the whole puzzle. That's the end. What did you think of that, Arthur? Did you like that book? Sometimes Arthur tells me about God too. Yeah, he doesn't read very well. I so wish I was five years old again. I'm going to see if I can convince someone to read a story to me tonight. And here's my very little joke for very little people today. What's brown and sticky? 
a stick. See you at the Kids Liturgy live stream tomorrow morning. God bless. Say God.